Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to the library. Thanks for coming to read with me. Today, I have chosen the book Red, a Crayon Story by Michael Hall. And this is a story about a crayon, as you can see on the cover, that's labeled red with a, with a red cover, but the crayon looks blue. And this one says, what? Uh-oh. So I have a feeling that poor red is up against something big. Let's see how they figure this out. Red. A crayon story as told by me. And the pencil looks like the pencil's telling the story. He was red. But he wasn't very good at it. Oh dear, says Olive. His teacher thought he needed more practice. I'll draw a red strawberry. Then you draw a red strawberry. You can do this, really. Scarlet's telling Red this. But he couldn't, really. Like this? Oh my, let's try again. His mother thought he needed to mix with other colors. Why don't you two go out and draw a nice round orange? A really big one. A really orange one. Because as we know, yellow and red mixed together make orange. So yellow's gonna go with red. But they made a big greenish one because yellow and blue mixed together make green. Yuck, says yellow. Oops, says red. His grandparents thought he wasn't warm enough. Your class is making self-portraits for parents' night. Wear this warm red scarf. Nice, it's so you. But it so wasn't. So here are the self-portraits of all the crayons. Goldie up in the corner and teal, purple. And there's red with a blue crayon and a blue scarf. Orange, green. Oh dear me, Silver and Gray said. Everyone seems to have something to say. Sometimes I wonder if he's really red at all. Don't be silly, it says red on his label. He came that way from the factory. Frankly, I don't think he's very bright. Well, I think he's lazy. Right, he's got to press harder, said Army Green. Really, apply himself, Steel Gray. Give him time, he'll catch on, said Sunshine. Of course he will, Sea Green says. But he didn't catch on. Green is making a green frog. Black is making a black sheep. Brown, brown cow. And red is making a blue ant. Ack! All the art supplies wanted to help. The masking tape thought he was broken inside. Well, this will help hold you together. The scissors thought his label was too tight. One snip should do it. I thought he wasn't sharp enough. Stay still now. So they're sharpening him. But even with all our help and all his hard work, it's not like Red isn't trying. He wants to come out red. It's just not working. He just couldn't get the hang of it. And he walks away. One day he met a new friend. Will you make a blue ocean for my boat? Asks Barry. I can't, I'm red. Will you try? So he did. Thank you, it's perfect, said the bear, berry crayon. You're welcome. It was easy. And he didn't stop there. He made blue jeans and bluebells and bluebird and blueberries and a blue whale. I'm blue. He was, and they crossed out red and put blue. And everyone was talking. My son is brilliant. Who could have known he was blue? I always said he was blue. It was obvious. His blue ocean really lifted me. All of his work makes me happy. His blue strawberries are my favorites. He's so intense. 
I'm going to make a green lizard with him, a really big one. I hear he's working on a huge new project. He's really reaching for the sky. And he really was. Isn't it a beautiful day? It's perfect. So, he figured out he was really blue and not red at all. And even if his label said he was red, he found out with a little help from Barry. And I hope you enjoyed this story. It's a very sweet one. Um, have a great week, everyone, and I will read with you next week. Thank you.